and like I showed you guys everything. I showed you guys my upsell. We scaled this one store, one product to $34,000. Hey guys, what's up? This is episode 7. As you can see, we're moving along pretty fast and I'm showing you guys everything. What you're seeing is over a period of 2-3 hours, but we have to break it up into like 7 episodes just because they're just too much. If I were to like cram it all in like a 30, 40, 50 minute video, you guys wouldn't get anything done. So I want to break it up into consumable content that you guys could watch, apply, wait to the next episode and apply again. Um, that's how I recommend you guys go through this course and I'll thank those who are watching this course. I've put a lot of effort into make this high quality production um, so hopefully you guys appreciate it. But yeah, before we get to today's video, let's announce last week is winners for thousand dollars worth of courses or consulting calls with me. The winners here, all you have to do to qualify is drop a comment below, follow me on Instagram, hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, hit the like button, and I'll be picking the best comment every single video. Other than that, let's get right into the video. So we're opening up our ad manager, as you can see, um, I have already uploaded the video that we made in the previous video here. It's uploading 5.9%. While it's uploading, I'm waiting for it to upload, I'm getting my ads manager ready. The first thing I'm doing is I'm going to business settings because I want to link 360 Glide's Facebook page to my ad account. And I'm doing this while I'm waiting for it to sort of upload. So I'm trying to kill two birds with one stone here. Not two birds with one stone, but trying to multitask. That's the right term. So I go to business settings, I go to pages, now I go to add a page. I put in 360 Glide's URL into it. Find the page. I'm able to select it, add page. Yep, now the page is added. Got approved straight away. I'm gonna add myself to it. Now I'm gonna go ahead and select my account and then now I'm gonna turn on everything. I'm gonna give myself full access to the page. Assign myself full access. Now I'm added to the page. Go to add accounts. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add in the Instagram. I'm gonna go ahead and sign up and create 360 Glide's Instagram account. So I'm opening up Instagram on an incognito window so I could go ahead and create an account. I'm going to use the 360glide at gmail.com Awesome! 360glide is not taken! So we basically got lucky and 360glide is available everywhere so um, that's going to make the brand look very very professional. The account is now made. Now I can go back to Facebook and then add this account to my Facebook ad account. So I'm logging in on Facebook right now with the account I just made, successfully logged in. Now I need to add in a sort of display photo for my Instagram. So let's see if I can do that on computer. So I'm gonna log in. Now I go to the 360 Glide. Now I'm gonna go ahead and upload the logo we have. And while it's uploading, I'm going to go ahead and then add in our website, 360glide.com. And as you can see, our logo fits in perfectly. Like, it's so perfect. Like, literally, the compass is within the circle. Video is still uploading. While it's uploading, I'm going to go ahead and create the ad copy now. Um, a lot of people, they have very long and complicated ad copy. If you want to watch my sort of video on how to make ad copies that stand out, I have a video about that topic in my channel. But basically, you don't want to do what most people do where they have like sort of six lines, two lines about the product, two lines linking the link to the product twice saying get it here, and two lines saying free shipping, like that's old school. I'm going to keep it simple, have just like one line, most of my watch of 2019 and a direct link to the product, that's it. Two lines and you might also want to add in sale. And like I'm not even going to say get it here, I'm just going to straight up be like 50% off. I'm testing out what number looks better, 51% looks better because pattern break. Everyone uses 50% off so I'm going to use 51% off. Put in 360glide.com and look how simple and clean that ad copy looks. And I'm going to go ahead and add in a thumbnail so I want this image as a thumbnail so while I'm waiting for the video to upload because um, my internet is a bit slow at the moment 
um, I'm gonna go ahead and create my campaign. Before we do the campaign, I need to make my pixel. I need to install the pixel on my store, I completely forgot about that. But as you can see, I'm just wigging things, I don't have a checklist, I should make a checklist. I think that's something I'm, I might do, I'm, I might create a checklist. Filling in the gaps as I go also works. So now I'm gonna go ahead and create the pixel for our store. So go back to Shopify, the quickest way to get to Pixel is just search Pixel and it will drop the online store preferences. So I'm now going to create a new Pixel, I'm going to name it 360 Glide, put in 360glide.com, continue. Looks like I have too many Pixels, so what I do is actually rename one of the old Pixels, pixels that I don't use um, and I use it for 360 Glide, but most people should have space to create more Pixels. So go ahead and use this .com secret affiliate pixel. Um, this is one, this was a sort of pixel I used for one of my Facebook affiliate marketing videos, um, but I stopped using it. So I'm gonna copy that pixel, paste it into the preferences. And I also find out that the preferences is completely blank. So I'm gonna fill in that page of the setting, paste it into Shopify. I'm gonna blow out like half of the pixel so you guys can't copy it, but I'll show you the other half just to show like, so you guys can visualize what I'm doing. But the video is 96.7% uploaded. At the same time, I'm testing out my pixel. I'm putting in 360glide.com. Um, I'm publishing my video. Now I'm back, I'm opening, I'm seeing if it's tracking. For some reason, the pixel isn't working. I turn off ad blocker because ad blocker actually blocks Facebook tracking pixel. So make sure to turn off ad block when testing your pixel. I add to cart, I'm in checkout, I go back to Facebook pixel, I see that it shows Patreon, I see it shows add to cart. So now I know it's working. I cross out the Facebook pixel testing tab because now I know the pixel is successfully installed. Now I go back to the Facebook ad manager to create the campaign. Oh, that was a lot. I can't believe I was work at that fast of a pace. I think it was like 10.46 and it was getting late and I wanted to go to bed and I just wanted to pump out this campaign. So I created the campaign, 023, 360 Glide, campaign objective conversion, ad set name 001 Worldwide Watch, ad name 001, video is processing now, successfully uploaded. Yeah, and the ad has successfully uploaded. Look how simple and clean that ad copy is. Very nice ad. Now I'm gonna go ahead and upload the video again, but this time I change up the ad copy a bit and I use a different thumbnail. So I'm split testing different thumbnails. I'm using page posts and if you wanna know why I use page posts over dark posts, there's a video somewhere here, I'm gonna link it here and it basically goes over why I think page posts is better. It might look weird having duplicate videos. Not many people even realize because like people rarely go to your page and literally 1% of your page likes actually gets to see your content. So like reposting a video many times doesn't really matter. But I'm trying to think of a new sort of caption. So I'm trying to find a split test between the best caption and the best thumbnail. Right, right, who needs this unique ergonomically handmade watch? Look how cool that is. That's very high smart sounding sort of title. And if you need smart sounding words, just use thesaurus.com. And I used 52% in this one. Put the link to the product. Use a different thumbnail, put in a title, and then next, and then publish. Now I go back to the ads, conversions, the campaign looks good. Now I go to ad sets, the first campaign, Default settings, I'm gonna change the budget to $5 Australian. Actually, $10 Australian, wow. And then I'm gonna select worldwide. Um, if you're on a budget, start with five, but you know, since I'm a bit balling, uh, I'm gonna start with 10, jokes. Like, the real ballers, they start with $20 ad sets, and they have like 20 ad sets. That's $400 a day, like that's next level. But I'm just gonna keep it simple and start with $10 budgets plus it's Australian dollars. Targeting, I'm gonna put in very broad, watch. That's how broad I like to go. 240, 260 million people, that's how broad I like to go, if you guys are wondering. Uncheck everything except for Facebook newsfeed and Instagram newsfeed, do mobile only. This is sort of my testing formula. I'm giving you guys, I'm giving away my testing formula right now. Select the Instagram page, 360 Glide. Use existing post, change the optimization for purchase. 
even though it's red since we got in zero purchase on this brand new store with this brand new pixel still select purchase conversion even if it's red use existing posts i'm going to add a call to action button use a shop now button put in the website the preview looks looks a bit swashed but i change it into instagram to see how it looks and it looks much better on instagram but on facebook mobile it looks a bit swashed but it should be fine make sure everything is good check everything one more time oh yep Luckily I checked everything because now I saw that I had those checked. You always want to double check. Double checking is important because if I have a mistake here, when I duplicate things many, many, many times, the mistakes gets multiplied. And that's why I double check things so oftenly. Duplicate it, use existing posts. Since I've been split testing different thumbnails and ad copies, now I go ahead and include those two other ones to find out which ad copy and thumbnail performs the best. So I have campaign, the interest, single interest, and three ads underneath each ad set. But yeah, that's today's video. That's episode seven. I think things are getting pretty packed now before we sort of overload you with any more information. In today's video, we went ahead and uploaded the video to our Facebook page. We installed our Facebook pixel. Uh, we went ahead and created the sort of beginning of our Facebook ad campaign, set up our page, set up our Instagram. We did quite a lot looking back at it. Um, but yeah, that's episode seven. I wanna thank everyone for watching and following this series. If you found value in this, please share this. Please hit the subscribe button. Please hit the notification bell because I'll be uploading videos every single day and knowing how YouTube works, everyone's gonna be copying what I'm doing right now. So you wanna hit the notification bell so you get that edge on everyone else. The moment the new video uploads, apply what you learned before anyone else. That's why you wanna hit the notification bell. Drop a comment below, question of the day. What's your thought on my Facebook testing strategy? Give me your thoughts. Other than that, thank you so much for watching. And I'll be seeing you guys tomorrow. Peace. And literally it's, you know, 10.55 PM now. I've been at this store, I literally spent the past three hours to set up the store, buy the domain, build the store out, build the email out. Right now I'm minimizing it to see how the website looks on mobile. You always wanna do that.